This week is a real doozy. Astinax. Astyanax. Astyanax. Well, however the hell you pronounce it, let me tell you, this game sucks. And there's one way to tell without even playing the game. The cover looks like it's some cheap kid cartoon, and it's also made by Jalico in 1990. Jalico has no real claim to fame, so that's a great sign right there. The original arcade edition is drastically different than the NES port. The graphics in this game are crappy and below mediocre. I know Nintendo is meant to be family and child friendly, but this is ridiculous. Mario and Zelda look awesome, and this is cartoony and dumb. The sprites of the characters and enemies are huge and bulky, which adds to the cartoony nature. And because of how huge these sprites are, and their infinite respawning, the slowdown is ungodly. It's not as intense like in Vice, it's just wretched. As far as the plot is concerned, it's completely stock. Some 16 year old kid from some anime is transported to a magical world by a fairy to save Rosebud from bad guy number one and idiotic sidekick. Also, what sick parent would name their child Astinax if we assume it's set in present day? He has definitely been bullied his whole life. Now I'm sure you may have noticed I'm running right through enemies without taking any damage. That's because this game is poorly designed and way too difficult and not in a good, challenging or rewarding way. So I looked up the invincibility code in, in Nintendo Power. So it's not cheating. Is that a Metroid? As you progress through the game, you will soon notice that most of the levels are just graphical redos. Were they too lazy to make them slightly different? The hardest part of the game is some bullshit maze that, as far as I can tell, has no real sign of which way to go. The music in the game is also bad. Like, real bad. There are some game soundtracks that you could download and listen to in your car, but these tunes make you want to run away. And, in the end, after you go through a boss rush and kill both forms of stock villain, you realize that everything you went through was all a dream. But wait, what? Rosebud brought back to life your dead fairy in the real world. Second plot twist seen from a mile away. Anyways, this game sucks. It just sucks. I recommend you run away from this game. I don't care how cheap it is. And after you run away from the pronunciation nightmare of Asinax, run into next week where I play a real gem from the past.